So this video is pretty much all about subject searching, how to use it, how it can help you be more efficient as a researcher. Now, you can't really talk about subject searching without giving it some kind of background. To do that, I need to tell you about Library of Congress subject headings. Uh, if you don't know what the Library of Congress is, there's a Wikipedia page for it, have at it. But what the Library of Congress does in terms of subject headings is they create them. So whenever you're trying to find something, if you're trying to do it as a subject search, what you're doing is you're going through the Library of Congress subject headings. Now, I also really can't talk about subject heading research without talking about keyword research. And there's a big difference between the two. So let's say you're doing a search for feminism. Okay. And in this instance, I'm just leaving this drop down menu alone. Uh, I don't want to change it because this is a keyword search. And I hit find. But what it's going to do is it's going to find all of the instances in our database where the word feminism shows up and put them on a list. So I've got 368. 368 instances of the word feminism in here in one of these records somewhere. It doesn't matter where. There's it in the title, it's in the subject, it's probably in the description, it's in the technical display, it's in as many places as it can find it. If I redo this search as a subject search, and the way to do that is simply click on the drop down menu, click subject. When I do this, instead of looking everywhere it can, it only looks in one area of the record, this being the record, right here. It looks right here. That's the only place, and there's feminism right there. Okay. So instead of looking title, author, other author, format, whatever, it doesn't look in any of those other locations. It looks right here. That's it. What that does for you is it creates relevancy. You want to find materials that are going to be about your topic, and the way to do that the, the faster way to do that is to do that as a subject search. Let's say, for example, this dude was named Feminism. It's going to show up on your list if you do it as a keyword search because his last name's Feminism. Not that anyone would do that to their child, please, I hope not. That book may not even be about the idea of feminism. It could be about anything. It wouldn't matter. But if you know if it's in the subject headings, then it's going to have something to do with feminism. What this does for you, besides create relevancy, is it saves you time. So you've got fewer hits to go through. Now I've only got 303. You know all the hits are going to be about feminism in some way. may not necessarily be the way you want, but that's okay because that's what these suggested topics are for. So you can narrow it down to something more appropriate based on whatever your research is doing for you. And then of course it tells you how many hits it'll have when you do that. That is essentially how a subject search works. And in terms of time management, if you do it correctly, you can get your res the resources you need very quickly and get you off to doing other things like playing basketball or blowing stuff up on your screen or uh, out shopping or whatever it is that you find makes you happy. So take those tips, use them. I think you'll be a lot happier with your research and it'll go a lot faster.